Okay. Call is uh, all right. Enough limb biscuit. All right, this is three alpha. Take one. Three alpha. Take the one. knots are round table. No, don't clap. He no. You don't need to do the thing. He claps. I wanted to in. clap though. Okay. Welcome back to another edition of the Not So Round Table. You guys know how it works. Uh, George and I answer questions, and then every once in a while we bring on a guest. This is Miguel. He works down in our storefront. He's a pretty interesting guy. Fairly talkative, <laughs> and uh, and gets work done on the airsoft field. So I thought it would be a great is, opportunity to. His call sign is Wrecking Ball. Like the song. Yes, uh, yes, yes. No, but he, I mean, you do really well on the field. I feel like you get a lot of work done. Uh, so Definitely, definitely. I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring you on. He cheats. But uh, so like I said, it. you guys know the drill. We answer questions and stuff. Uh, because you're the guest, do you want to grab the first one? Me? So, yeah. All right, let's go with Don't grab a bad question. A ba- I don't know if it's a bad question. I got to like. We don't know it's a bad question until you read exactly. it. Exactly. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Is All right. Knowing Miguel, it'll be a bad question. It's probably will. All right. Uh, Peter Robinson. Hey guys, what is your opinion on proprietary parts in airsoft guns? Proprietary parts. Okay, so they're referencing like you know how like for a long time ICS was using very specific parts yes. because it was the the dual the the broken the, the split broken gear, gearbox. Yeah, split gearbox uh, mm-hmm. You know, and then because of that, they also had the different pinion gear angle uh, on the motor and things like that. Um, what do you guys think of proprietary parts? Um, I mean. There's no like negative. Well, okay, the negative. There's plenty about, of negatives. Yeah, the, yeah. Let me correct myself. <laughs> the negatives would be, I mean, you have to have if a part goes down your gun, you have to get it from that particular, you know, that that source. You got to go like you know, KW is proprietary. I see. That's a misconception though. Certain There's parts, only one or two parts that are yeah, proprietary, but, and the rest of it all. Works yeah, but if it goes down, you're gonna have to go directly to them to yes, get it. That's no, the only downside. Us because we carry. Yeah, of course. If, if you look at some brands like KWA is one of that brands, they're a very good brand. But if a part does go down. It is kind of a yeah, big true. Part sometimes, a little especially thing. with the AEG stuff, at least. I mean, anything inti- inside their gearbox is going to have somewhat of an issue if it breaks. Well, okay. Well, I mean, but you guys, okay. So the <laughs> standard, right? Like the 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 standard instead of proprietary mm-hmm. is all based on TM stuff. Yes. But, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but I never understood why. Like, okay, TM was you know first or whatever. Like they designed you know a lot of the gearboxes that we use. Mm-hmm. A lot of the versions came out of out of TM's design warehouse or design facility. But uh, I mean, I think standardization is nice because it allows for uh, but you it's know, not a standard. lot of. That's what I'm saying. Like I think standardization is nice because it allows for a lot of aftermarket companies to make products that work universally. Um, but sometimes you have to have proprietary things because not all guns are the same shape. I mean, look at all the different you know varieties of the heavy machine guns and things that all need a proprietary part. The SOCOM 47 is a great example of yeah, it needs yeah. a proprietary there's, there's unit because it has to work that Making way. something proprietary as long as it improves the original design. Agreed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So as long as it improves upon a design. For example, I do not know still to this day why the buffer tube system on M4s is set up the way that it is. That screw that you screw into the back of the gearbox does nothing for security in the gearbox, really. That secures the entire it, gearbox. It, it, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. It doesn't. Well, I, I know. I know it does, but I'm. If you have a pro win, it actually the pro win, the yeah, receiver. Yeah. But the, the, yes. no one did them at the pro yeah, win. I, I know, but like not everybody has a pro win, and I <clears> think <throat> that you could redesign that part okay. specifically because it's been proven with like KWA coming out with their um, oh the shock buffer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like it's been proven you can make a system be stable. This is I true. don't know, maybe I'm just being a no, no, you're right. No, there's good, there's good, and there's bad. I mean, if, all right, if next part goes down, yeah, it's like yeah, that's good, that's good. That wasn't a bad question. Yeah. Okay, we have Joseph Tang. What are your opinion on trademarks on guns? Do you think that they're necessary? Uh, no. Negative. They well, okay, but yeah, the key word there is, is it necessary? No. no. It's not necessary. No, it's like, not necessary. necessary. But, I mean, I mean but it makes it so But wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm thinking about this. I'm like, <laughs> trademarks necessary on guns? No. But I would do say I have? no. I, I have trademark GMP. I have, tra- I, have tra- I, have yeah, trademark, I have trademark guns, trademark so I can't say I don't. Receivers. <laughs> I have trademarked rails. I have... Without trademarks... And not necessarily even trademarks. Without logos or some sort of visual design on a on a the side of the receiver, all guns are the same, boring, uh, non unique, just whatever. <laughs> but you throw trademarks at it and some unique visuals and stuff, um, and now you've got something you, that unique that you can personalize and make yeah. your own. So yeah. necessary, no. Cool. So everyone cool. does it. <laughs> yes. All right, Very that's cool. That was a much shorter question. Okay, hold on here now. What, 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 what. All right, Spence R. Spencer. <laughs> Spence R. Okay, hey, Matt and George and Miguel. Yes. Uh, love the show. You guys rock. What should I carry in my dump slash drop pouch? Again, you're awesome. Nothing. Uh, yeah, it's a dump pouch. What are you supposed to do with a dump pouch? 
put Twinkies in it. No, no, no. You dump mags in or it. Or you'd be it's like, my idiot boxes, friends. You dump you put mags a, in it. You can put a, no, no. You you put you'd be banana. like my idiot. No, they put a, a hot dog. Oh yeah. Uh, and then I didn't. It ruined a dump pouch because I didn't know they put it in there. I found it out about three months later. Who do these people play airsoft with. I don't know. You play airsoft with these people. That's, I and I'm not gonna say who it is, but you know who you are. <laughs> don't put dump. Don't put hot dogs in people's dump no. pouches. A dumb pouch it's is okay. meant it was simply a... to give you somewhere to store spent magazines. Am spent right? magazines. At least it wasn't Thunder expensive. Cores, stuff like Thunder B cores. Yeah, yeah. Um, those ones we sell that you pull them out and they kind of expand. You know which ones I'm talking about? They're oh, like the, real, real thin. They're super small. And the Blue Force yeah, gear one. Yeah, Blue Force, I like Force that gear one. Blue Force gear ones are great as backups. I wouldn't use it as a primary because it's really kind and of don't flimsy keep it, floppy. And don't keep it behind you. Keep it in to front of you. Right. I learned so, that the hard way. As a backup, that's great, especially for Thunderbee shells. Thunder shells for sure. Once you toss it out, you can yank that and, and throw it in there. Uh, just the standard ones, I generally like to keep my dump pouch on my um, left side. battle belt. Yeah, uh, battle belt. To yeah, the yeah, yeah. left of center. If it's yeah. centered, it's kind of a pain. Um, but because I'm a righty shooter, to the left of center works. Yeah. Um, it's it's but, but how many times the roly polies are how great. many times have you seen somebody who has like a big dump pouch for example and they start reloading magazines and they go get and the empty one they, the and then you look at their one. vest and they have uh, they have a bunch of mag pouches like they're they have they're all their mag pouches empty and then they have their dump pouch full of like seven eight magazines and they're running yeah, around yeah. and you're like. Dude, joke, 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 it's joke, like, joke, dude, joke, why don't you just like you have to understand your dump pouch is just for that temporary situation when you have time. What I like to do is put the magazines case, upside down yeah, so I see yeah. the so I know that those are spent magazines. Yeah, yeah. Um, or I will, you know, I'll, I'll make sure that I can tell that they're yeah, yeah. That they're spent. That's usually a good trick that I like to do. I don't. Want, that's why I use a small dump pouch now. That way, I'm not like you don't put too much. In I don't put it. too much into it because yeah. okay, I have a bad habit of just dumping. All yeah, because I hate that. Because then what you do is you lose magazines and you make a lot of noise, and then it's uncomfortable. Kutur, 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 kutur. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming around the corner. I think he's right here. It's, it's, <laughs> and he's low on fresh <laughs> mags. I can hear. All right, yeah. go ahead and pick one more question or another question. Two. Yeah, yeah. All right, sick. Wait, no, I want this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, Jamie, fifteen, able. In what country do you think airsoft is the most popular? Was the most popular? Yeah. What like, country? Yeah. What country is it the most popular? Well. UK. I, I mean, they're all. Pro, I mean, they're all produced in Asia. So no, no. The I mean, could the argument be made? Are we talking about players or like no, no, availability what, of air, products? No, no, no. no. This no, is no, like no. in airsoft. Like you know, like airsoft. Everyone in that country wants the airsoft. Like, what country do you think is has the most airsofters? Taiwan. Like, a mm. country. It's t it's Taiwan and Japan. Oh, those are countries. Taiwan country. is a country, country dude. Wait, yes. what? Yes, Taiwan is a country. No. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So needs to go oh, back to China. Japan yeah. and Taiwan. Like I, no, I, I, yeah, I know yeah. several. Well. Oh no no. J the manufacturers. The, the, the man Philippines. Oh, the Philippines. The, the yeah. Philippines it's is the, popular, the, dude. dude. It's like a national pop. sport there. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're bad at yeah. soccer. <laughs> Man, I don't really know. Like, it's popular everywhere. It's growing popularity everywhere. I think the U.S. is really growing. I know it's really popular in the U.K. A yeah. lot of people play in the U.K. But, yeah. but I think just in terms of, of, of sales, Philippines. I don't know. The, the Philippines, Japan, Taiwan, I think those are all really, really popular. Yes, uh, but if you go, UK, if you go then, by the small of the you, – you, all right, when we, when we talk about airsoft, when we talk about, like, just airsoft products in general – you look at the U.S. has a lot of the small markets, such as the Springers and all that stuff. All that stuff's not as popular overseas. Sure, okay. You know, like you can't go. They don't have stores like Walmart that sell these things. That's true. Big Five that we do. So I mean, like, you, you could say almost that it is us who sells the most. If you want to go by sales, I don't know. By sales or, I don't know. More games, more events. I, I guess I mean, it's kind of like a I mean, yeah. I don't, open up more. I don't know. That's a good question. We're gonna have to redo redo find, it. Find find that out. Man, that was the okay. question I wanted. That was the question you wanted? Well, you can pick it later. It's I Taiwan. do not know how to pronounce this oh, name. Like, I think I'm kind of... Look at the name. Continent? Why yeah, would you say I continent? don't know. Oh, oh it's Russian. Yes, we can't pronounce your name, but... Just call me John. Is. Okay, John. What is your opinion on using grenades with tripwires? I saw a video of some dude trying to disarm a, a tripwire oh, grenade. Oh, yeah. And it <laughs> blew <laughs> off in his face. <laughs> this is my full face because protection Because the guy was... And, and no offense, the guy did not do it correctly. I think tripwires <laughs> are the coolest thing for for thunderbees. Cool trick However, that I learned. Having after time the, to okay. set them up, yeah. Like, know, yeah. how often do you have time, especially in like a you know close quarter game? Do you have time to like I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna bring my <laughs> string across and tape it on there to make sure everything secure. And then of course you'll go around the corner and forget it's there and trip it yourself. Yeah, yeah. 
I've, I've never seen him use it except for Born was the one I, time I've, I've seen him I've use seen him do it like uh, like using like like setting up like fake um, IEDs or um, you know IEDs. Or oh, like whatever. the mines? No, no, no. It's like you know just simulating a a fake IED that you have to disarm or something like that. Cool trick though. I didn't know this, but a friend of mine taught me this. Was when we were discussing that video of the one that went off the guy's face. Mm -hmm. So they were trying to uh, they were looking for clippers and they were like poking around with it and there was like four guys in a room trying to figure out how to do it and it's so, like just have one guy. One and also a cool trick I found if you have a lighter, if you burn the burn cord. the cord, it doesn't put any tension on the cord. And but then, then whoever way, had the cords and pissed off that you ruined their so cord. So what? Like, what the hell, it, it, man? What are you talking about? If you cut it's it, it's going to be the same socks. thing. Yeah, but what was it tied one. to? Couldn't you have just held the triggering mechanism with your hand? It's not going to go off. No, no. So you okay, just hold so the if pin it's a in and then untape it. If it's a bee with the, with the pin in, it's like a yeah. very shallow pin. So you barely move that right, and so it Right, so that's why you put your thumb on it. So if you hold it and you can cut it and you No, but just if you just... You're gonna have to cut the thing anyway. That's the design of the trip art. You could buy some new ones on our store for like it's like a few bucks, this, this and you get a whole this like huge. True. Or go buy some fishing line. Like there's no excuse for. That's for, true, and it's clear. And it's clear. Invisible. Yeah. Okay. I think that's no. I think the the the, the proper thing is with the, the lighter. That's a good idea. Now, I mean, just so just find a smoker in your in your squad, <laughs> and then just say, hey, go light the thing on fire. And then walk out like bosses. But remember, I don't. I wouldn't advise somebody bring a lighter on the field. Why everybody? Do, how many milsim games? It comes lunchtime, and then you see a whole pack of people go smoke. This is true. So yes. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. Oh, it was my turn, man. Okay, here we go. We've got one. Like three thick piece of paper here. That's whoa! A, whoa! Is that an essay? I don't know what's going. Oh my oh, god! Oh yes. Victor Kachu. In a milsim op, there's obviously a lot of ground to cover and many hours of gameplay. My first question is: In an op such as Irene, is it practical to run a GBV as your primary, or is it recommended to run an AEG? Secondly, when it comes to running a DMR for a milsim op, would it be recommended to run a spring AEG or GBB? Lastly. If one does run a GBB, how should gas cans be stored? Since it could obviously end badly if one were to rupture if shot by a strong enough FPS. It wouldn't rupture. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it wouldn't too. rupture, for one. Uh, so, two. first question. First okay, question. first okay. question. Uh, in an op such as Irene, is it practical to run GBB as your primary? No. No. But people do it. But why? Because they want the realism. No, no. Why, why, isn't why isn't it practical? Hmm. I think that it's it's... Just, you have to reload your gas mags. You have to reload if you have malfunctions. You have to clear them. You know, it's just, it's just more for you to think about. I think. But then again, I mean, if you have there's malfunction with it. an AEG, there's people who that do it though. I've seen people. Do I think it, Irene like it. specifically though, because it's meant not as an airsoft game. It's meant to to reenact. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be more. I, I think it would be more justified to run it at, in a game like that. Like a gas blowback at that kind of game than at your standard, uh, you know, huge. Yeah, but I mean, uh, you're gonna have to game. have a few magazines, you know, more than, like I have five from my oh, yeah. before. It's not, yeah. it's not a lot, so you'd have Once to have maybe eight. Yeah, you'd have eight. I'd say at least you're carrying a lot more weight. You have to think about that. There's That's nothing true. wrong with it though. No. Okay, no. so then two. Secondly, when it comes to running a DMR for a Millsim op, would it be recommended to run Spring AEG or GBB? AEG. AEG for sure. AEGs AEG. across the board still. Across the board because you have you can't run the 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 hop-up modifications in a GBB, you can't um, be as stable of a platform I feel, on a GBB. I feel like if you're doing, well, GBB. he specified DMR. If you're a sniper, I'd go spring, just because then you don't have to worry yeah, about it. Yeah, but it's a DMR, yeah, a sniper, DMR. Which, uh, but, I would go, Okay, yeah, so if you're using AG. a semi-auto, it would be, it would, exactly, I would definitely, yeah. definitely an AEG. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because you can, sure. you can, definitely, you, the, definitely the barrel, definitely, the barrel, totally okay, agree. fine, ignore me. I'll just, no, no, I was just, <laughs> I was just mocking Miguel, I wasn't. Yeah, because anyway. he's, well, he's, you know, whatever. Okay, so, <laughs> and then if one does run a GBB, how should cans be stored? Dump pouch? No, not dump pouch. We just I talked think, about the dump say, pouch. I no. would say maybe one have a pouch, pouch that has, like, some no. type of retention. Dude. Oh, no, no. The, the, the RPG. taco no, pouch. The, yeah. the double, the yeah, double yeah, stack yeah, taco pouch? Boom. Work pretty well. Or, yeah. Sorry. Until you bring yeah, your arm down on the needle. Take my patch. Screw your elbow up. Right or the, the RPG, the rechargeable ones, the little yeah. ones. Those yeah, the are little good ones. Too. Those the you can ones, put in a, I mean, in a pouch. You, a BB hitting it's not going to cause it to burst. No, I think he maybe meant like if he fell on it, just don't fall. Watch your stat. I've seen people store them just fine. Yeah, they're, don't store they're them actually. Up, I mean, I've seen someone. Uh, you remember at, at Line Claws last year? He had a, a, a specialized type of propane 
canister. Oh, on the back. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, 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 And then yeah. you just put the propane adapter on that. That's that was cool. actually That's really cool. a little bit better. I've than... got that one that Cliff gave me that has, it's like a grenade, mm-hmm. and you unscrew the top, and it's got a, yeah, it's like a grenade size. Yeah, but those don't fill as much many uh, many magazines. You're going to be carrying more of those. on the, You're going to have to carry a full can. True, and if I was wearing grenades at the same time, I may forget and throw my green gas can at somebody. <laughs> All right, next question. All right, that's really involved. Oh, my turn. Jack in this. Try to keep this questions nice. Short well, I have so we a, a one more thing. of them. Oh yes, here we go. Ready? You guys ready? Yes. Hey, we're ready. Eternal DJ four. If the Evic team were in a Hunger Games match, <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Who would win? I'm gonna just throw it out there because Shades is Shades. Yeah. I think he's gonna win because Shades. I can't. We can't argue against the Shades. That's an easy question. Okay, so the advantage. Oh, Hunger okay, Games let's match. no, let's go with this. Who would die first, Matt? Yep. Yeah. And everyone we all go. <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. Unanimous. Because I run full speed into an enemy. Because Matt would just just run gun ho and do something yep. stupid. I draw. I dump eight mags in the first thirty seconds and then die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shades would probably win though. I'll go with Shades. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's cunning that Shades. Because you can't hear him coming. That's the thing. And you can't hit him. You can't see him. Yeah. And he and he doesn't work good as a team anyway. So <laughs> no. He's yeah. He'd be perfect for Hunger Games match. I love how everybody agrees that I would die first. Well, at least the three of us. This is a small question. Mark Nowak asks, metal or plastic slide on GBB? It's like a pistol. Uh, Depends what kind of type of gas you're running. No, the standard's green gas. Nobody runs yeah, let's go, let's, gas anymore. Well, I mean, if you go into other countries, yeah, someone's going to be using... But let's just say green uh, gas. Unless you're green in gas, Japan. Gas, yeah, then you go with uh, metal plastic. If you're running green gas, metal slide. But for longevity, you want to go metal. Yeah, metal slide. Metal for sure. Unless it's an FN57. Because, you know, the FN57, yeah, yeah, it's understand. a polycarbonate. Yes, you can't get a metal slide for it. In which case, it's designed to work with the plastic slide. I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about guns that can be modified, though. I don't know. All right. All right. Dude, come on, man. got to keep the head. This picture? dude's picture is a middle finger. <laughs> Shady Marshall. Aw, oh, dude. It's Shame on you. No, it's bueno. Uh, how do I get a girl into Airsoft. You can shoot her. That's what I did before. Zip tie, duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they'll either, it's, I don't know. They'll either, be in, they'll, either want, they'll, they'll, they'll either want to be into it because you're into it or they'll want to be into it because they're generally interested. I've only seen like literally, I think, three girls at an airsoft field, like legitimately playing by themselves because they wanted to be there. I've seen girls come in with guys like, oh, hey, let's all play with our friends. Yeah, you know, but they, they want to really bond. Like... They want to they wanna do activities that their boyfriends or I think husbands putting words are... in women's mouths. I'm going off of experience here. Yeah. So they want to spend time with you. So if they, if they want to spend time with you, they're going to spend time with your hobby. So the justification I made was, hey, we're exercising. This is better than running at the gym. Uh, and then B, uh, I gave I gave them a pink gun. That's the pink gun always gets the girls, yes. If you, if you have a pink gun, definitely. Unless your girl doesn't like pink. Unless your girl doesn't like pink. But yeah, but most girls <laughs> like pink. So give them the pink gun. They're if gonna they're a play. gamer, it's even easier. Because if they play yeah, count, combat yeah. games already, you're already, it's one more step. Alright, cool. We got another question. Yeah. Just find a gamer girl and have her play with you. That's fine. Jeez, a lot Josh, of Josh Cam. Options on military surplus gear slash apparel. It's kind of I'm a little... very confused. I don't know. It's I, I'm assuming it's gonna be up to Wait, military surplus gear. Op- option? Opinions. Oh shit. <laughs> I can't read today, my bad. Or opinions. 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 Yeah, I know, right? Like old school gear, like Alice yeah. Clip Day. No, well, I mean, Charters, yeah, all surplus all gear. So, well, first, ammo cans until recently were only get available at a surplus store. I like ammo uh, cans. I still, dude, I wear an M65 field jacket as yeah, no, a daily I able, jacket. I haven't been able to find a new one that one for you. So it's, you know, mm-hmm. I, I love my field jacket because it keeps. You can me find warm. a lot of cool stuff at a yeah, surplus store for a good store, price. For a good but, price too. Yes, but you could also get ripped off. For so. certain things, yes. If you don't know, if you don't know what you're looking for, if you're just kind of like, oh, let me, I want this, and the guy was like, yeah, take this, take this, take this, and you, your bills gonna yeah. get up. But if you, know I what think you're, you're better for, off. There are a lot of trendy hipster companies now that make military looking stuff. You know, like there's there's companies that make like World War II like field bags and stuff as like you know side hip bags. Yeah. Don't don't like if you're gonna buy something for for looking real, buy the real one. You know, and one of those hipster bags will cost you a hundred dollars. You can go to a surplus store and get <laughs> hey, one for five bucks. At, at Army yeah. Appreciation Day, like a few years ago, I had I had this old like Oakley bag uh-huh. that it looks kind of like ragged and stuff. It's it looks like a hipster bag, mm-hmm. and I used that as a Mahaji side. See, I didn't nice. buy the bag; it was given to me. So what I care? It was funny. But yes, I think <laughs> surplus gear is cool, Very and good. I think there should be more events that have like a reenactment. Uh, facet mm-hmm. to them. I, I would love to see more Vietnam era games or more yeah, World Luke. War II era <clears throat> games. 
Hackbell. Just because, man, if you yeah, can if you can get one. into that's get into the heard. the acting side of it as well as just shooting people with airsoft guns, then it's cool. Oh 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 oh! I I went all the way to the bottom. Plus RPG, bro. Anyway, what RPG? Role the one that doesn't shoot anything. No no. no. The... <laughs> oh okay. They said role playing. I'm like what? Okay, this is by Archmage World of Jack. Okay. What would you bring to a standard event like Irene in a backpack? So like a Milsom event, what would you put in a backpack? Food, water, BBs. Cans of gas. Cans of gas if you need it. Pistol. Yeah, if you're writing a pistol, so a little like a can of gas and batteries. Tactical spork, can't forget that. Tactical spork. Tactical spork, I guess. Need ba- uh, batteries. Extra batteries for flashlights, yes. No, no, but for <laughs> your AEG, <laughs> if you're running an AEG, bring an extra battery at a least ba- one. Yeah, a bag of BBs. A um, bag of, or, or, a, or, a, or a bottle of BBs. Bore, but, yeah. Um, and a small thing of tools. What'd you bring? Really? Just a small. On the field? Just enough to be able, if you have to pop a pin on your a, on your M4 really quick to solve something, or... or buy a Leatherman mic. If you... Or, 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 yeah, yeah, or like a Sog multi-tool. power assist. Yeah, okay, like a multi-tool. Like the EOD? Great pin punch there. Yeah. All right. That's, that, that, that's... Okay. That's it. That's all I would bring. Yeah. Don't pack an extra Okay, last gun. question. Don't pack an extra gun. Don't pack extra goggles. Don't pack extra, extra boots. Don't pack any yeah, items. It's, really it's a backpack, not a suitcase. Okay, uh, MW3 Phantom. For a long-term game, such as Lion Claw, would you prefer running a high-speed loadout or with a weapon like a CQB M4 with a high rate of fire or a heavier kit with an MK17 or M16? High rate of fire guns are no longer going to be allowed at Lion Claws, I think. What about you? You play a lot. <clears throat> For event games, I'd probably want to go with... I mean, well, from our experience at, you know, all the line clubs we've been to, and even, I mean, like, the You want some with some range. I don't yeah, want you want... Ra- okay, there's certain... <clears> there's <throat> two different guns. There's, like, okay, one with range, and it's going to be CQB. Because if you're going to play an event where there's houses and there's, you know, close quarter, you know, scenarios where you want to have a good gun that's going to be performing decent in a close range, but then you want to have that range because when you go out of the building, step outside, you got people targets over 100 feet away, like at Bowling. Yeah, but we if, were shooting, well, you've got a pistol but for if you got, if you have a standard 14-inch... A, you know, a, AR platform with a, decent a standard M4 and a d- standard hand pop, you'll hit people far away anyway. That's true. You don't need to bring an M16, obviously. But in yeah, terms of but... in terms of a high speed loadout, I think the longer the engagement, you're always pressured to carry more gear with you because you can't necessarily go back to your vehicle and reload. Yeah. So you know, if you've got a backpack that you can put extra BBs, speed loaders, and things on your rig, then you don't not necessarily you know you don't have to carry. 12 to 20 magazines with you you can still rock eight mags six to eight mags and still be effective but i think you should try to minimize weight uh whenever possible whether it's a long engagement or even a short game just because all that weight tends to wear down wear you down and you're not going to be able to play for as long because your body's going to be more fatigued than if you're running a full cyrus or a rav kit with 20 mags and hydro and all that other stuff so i think you should always look to save weight I don't think there's any reason for you to carry maybe more than eight magazines plus one in the gun, maybe. So nine magazines total is probably a good target amount because it's easy to have. You have a balanced number of pouches in terms of just your AEG. If you want to have two extra pistol mags, right, right, right. right. We're but just I, don't, about I, don't, I don't think that you need more than that. Anybody who carries more than that, you should have. You should figure out a system to reload yeah. your magazines because it's not that hard to carry a bottle of BBs and a speed loader. Well, what we usually end up doing is, especially when we're, when we're in bigger engagements, there's always one person who maybe isn't firing at the moment. It's usually okay, Burnett so, yeah, for whatever <laughs> reason. So all of us are laying down fire and then throwing empty mags at like and, 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 and so he's sitting on the yeah. floor behind cover, reloading everything. Top of the gesture, please. <laughs> well, it was like me. Well, and, is, that's what I did at Irene. Remember when we were holding that room mm-hmm. for a long time? That was basically just people were tossing Jam mags. the door and, shut. And, and we just, just yeah, reloaded. We were, and yeah. that was that was really crazy. That was that was. And that's why we always talking about working in multiple man teams. <clears throat> you had that you one have person. people laying yeah. down fire and you have people reloading. It works that way, especially if you've got a backpack that you can't detach. You've got somebody who can pull BBs out of your bag, reload for you, and get back yeah, on every the move. We've had that. We have one person with just ammo like in their bag, like, hey, I need ammo, come mm-hmm. to the front. And Kevin mm-hmm. Kevin Tyson was usually the tank because he was the biggest guy and he could carry the most weight. So he had several bags of BBs with him that's and extra concept. magazines. You can carry the most weight because you're bigger. He well no he's a strong dude I know he's, he's a, a I know he's strong, strong but I'm saying is I just who is more willing to carry weight Oh okay yeah. although when we went through that wall oh at, when he punched at Lion Claw, he, when we went through the wall that already had a hole he Kevin couldn't, couldn't fit through yeah 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 that happens a lot too but um, 
Anyway, that does it for this episode of the Not So Round Table. Miguel, thanks for joining us. We'll thanks for having uh, me, Matt. We will bring you back on the show sometimes. Yeah, because yes. he's funny and he's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good response. Anyway, so uh, if you guys come on into the store, make sure you say hi to him. He's uh, what days do you work? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm okay, almost, so almost four, every day. Five, five days, five days, days a week. week. And, and then it, and you I can play shoot yourself. him. Yeah, you can shoot, you you can shoot, shoot him at the local Hollywood Sports Park or or Warp Tops. Oh, Warp Tops. Oh, or we're not doing Tax City. All right, so <laughs> anything, whatever. Oh, that was so. Up. Tune in next week when we do another one. nuts around you table. Keep submitting questions. We'll add them to the helmet. Well, one of us will add them to the helmet so we don't see it. And we'll see you guys next time.